Red Comet means one thing, boy. Dragons. Dragons are all dead. Been dead for centuries. First Kalisar we meet will kill us and take your dragons. No one will take my dragons. When my dragons are grown, we will take back what was stolen from me and destroy those who have wronged me. Now the entire North has risen up against us. I tried to stop it. Did you? You failed. That bit of theatre will haunt our family for a generation. Rob Stark is a child. Who's won every battle he's fought? Do you understand we're losing the war? Three victories don't make you a conqueror. It's better than three defeats. Stannis Baratheon sent ravens to all the High Lords of Westeros. King Joffrey Baratheon is neither a true king nor a true Baratheon. He's your bastard son. If that's true, Stannis is the rightful king. How convenient for him. woman will lead him into a war he cannot win. Stannis is our king. We follow where he leads. Welcome to Karth, my lady. Where have all the wildlings gone? You want to know where they've all gone? No! Join up with Mansreda. You want to know what Mansreda's doing? Gathering an army. But I hear he's already got more men than any of your southern kings. And where does he plan marching his army? When you're all the way north, there's only one direction to go. Joffrey, Renly, Rob Stark, they're all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. We won't beat them until you take King's Landing. We can't take King's Landing without ships. My father has ships and men who know how to sail. I'm his only living son. He'll listen to me. I know he will. I'm not a Stark, I know that. But your father raised me to be an honorable man. We can avenge him together. You don't want Balaam Greyjoy for an ally. I need his ships. They say he has 200. You understand you don't trust Lord Greyjoy? I don't trust Lord Greyjoy because he is not trustworthy. I see. I destroy Robb Stark's enemies for him, and he will make me king of the Iron Islands once again. No man gives me a crown. I pay the iron price. I will take my crown. That is who I am. That is who we have always been. I've taken your castle. Theon. It's Prince Theon now. I've taken Winterfell. I took it. I am occupying it. You went with Rob. And he sent me back to Pike. I'm a Greyjoy. I can't fight for Rob and my father both. Did you hate us the whole time? No! Your last words, old man. God's help you, Theon Greyjoy. Now you are truly lost. This cannot be true. I'm afraid it is true. Why? Why would Theon? Because the Greyjoys are treasonous whores. Let me send word to my bastard at the Dreadford. He can raise a few hundred men and retake Winterfell before the new moon. We have the Lannisters on the run. If you march all the way back north now, you'll lose what you gained. My brothers. You've heard nothing of them. Bran and Rickon's safety is paramount.
We can't find Arya Stark. Well, it's luck she's dead in a ditch somewhere. Perhaps, but if not, we need her. They'll never give Jamie back to us for Sansa alone. We need to set our armies to the task of finding her. Send out as many men as we can. Drop your weapons in the name of the king. Which king will that be? This is your last chance. In the name of King Joffrey, drop your weapons. I don't think I will. So be it. Oh. for your brother's latest treasons. Your Grace, whatever my traitor brother has done, I had no part. You know that. I beg you, so please. So tell her of this outrage. Your brother fell on Stafford Lannister with an army of wolves. Thousands of good men were butchered. After the slaughter, the Northmen feasted on the flesh of the slain. Leave your face. I like her pretty. He's rallied an army of 100,000. You know him. You know his family. I will ride at first light. Your Grace, I have the honor to bring you Lady Catelyn Stark, sent as an envoy by her son, Rob, Lord of Winterfell. Lord of Winterfell and King in the North. Lady Catelyn, pleased to see you. May I present my wife, Marjorie of House Tyrell. When I take King's Landing, I'll bring you Joffrey's head. Lady Stark had not thought to find you in the Stormlands. I had not thought to be here, Lord Stannis. Whose banner is that? My own. I suppose if we use the same one, the battle would be terribly confusing. You should kneel before your brother. He's the Lord's chosen. Born amidst salt and smoke. It is strange to find you beside my brother, Lady Stark. Your husband was a supporter of my claim. Lord Eddard's integrity cost him his head. And you sit beside this pretender and chastise me. We share a common enemy. The Iron Throne is mine, by right. All those that deny that are my foes. All round the night, from dawn to the wall. No one wants you for their king. You never wanted any friends, brother. But a man without friends is a man without power. For the sake of the mother who bore us, I will give you this one night to reconsider. Strike your banners, come to me before dawn, and I will grant you your old seat in the council. I'll even name you my heir, until a son is born to me. Otherwise, I shall destroy you. We're at war. We've always been at war. What's your name? Egret. You never killed a woman before, did you? Bastard! Do it!
firstly. Get these prisoners to work. Bring the girl. Need a new cup bearer. What news from the capital? I travelled here directly from Renly Baratheon's camp. Ah, the late King Renly. After the Lannisters and the Starks, the Tyrells commanded the largest host. The Tyrells and Majet declared for any of the surviving kings. Do you want to be a queen? I want to be the queen. And Marjorie... Wants to be queen? Yes, she does. Stannis Baratheon's fleet has been spotted sailing north. He'll be at our gates within five days, four if he has the wind. We have strong high walls. We'll rain fire down on them from above. This war you started is coming to our doorstep. Sometimes I wonder if this is the price for what we've done for our sins. Sins? The Targaryens... Wed brother and sister for hundreds of years, I know. It's what Jamie and I would say to each other in our moments of doubt. It's what I told Ned Stark when he was stupid enough to confront me. You are no knight. You have forsaken every vow you ever took. There's so many vows. They make you swear and swear. Defend the king, obey the king, obey your father. Protect the innocent, defend the weak. And what if your father despises the king? What if the king massacres the innocent? It's too much. No matter what you do, you're forsaking one vow or another. King Slayer. King Slayer. What a king he was. Here's to Ares Targaryen. The second of his name, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, Protector of the Realm, and to the sword I shoved in his back. You're a man without honor. Do you know, I've never been with anyone but Cersei. So in my own way, I have more honor than poor old dead Ned. What's the name of that bastard he fathered? Snow. Bastard from the north. Now when, when good old Ned came home with some horse baby, did you pretend to love it? No. You hated that boy, didn't you? Why am I here? To help me plan the defense of King's Landing. <laughs> Stennis will be here any day. Stannis knows King's Landing. He knows where the walls are strongest, and he knows which gates are weakest. You're quite good at being hand, you know. John Aaron and Ned Stark were good men. Honorable men. But they disdained the game and those who played. You enjoy the game. I do. Last thing I expected. And you play it well. I'd like to keep playing it. If Stannis breaches the gates, the game is over. This morning, I heard a song. All the way from Karth, beyond the Red Waste. Daenerys Targaryen lives. The girl at the edge of the world is the least of our problems. She has three dragons. You have a good claim, a title, a birthright. But you have something more than that. You may cover it up and deny it, but you have a gentle heart. You would not only be respected and feared, you would be loved. The allies we need are in Westeros, Ockard. If the wind calls, we'll reach King's London in a day. When I sit the Iron Throne, you'll be my hand. King's Landing will fall an hour after Stannis lands his force. Stannis will execute them all. Stannis, two days from the capital, and a wolf at my doorstep. We'll ride at nightfall. 
I want a full night's march before he knows we're on the move. If it weren't for your squire's bravery, you'd be a dead man. I, Joffrey of the House Baratheon, do hereby proclaim my grandfather, Tywin Lannister, the hand of the king. In the judgment of your small council, it would be neither proper nor wise for you to wed the daughter of a man beheaded for treason. The gods are good. I am free to heed my heart. Sir Loras, I will gladly wed your sweet sister. And I will love you from this day until my last. Day. The Kingslayer, he escaped in the night. How? Oh! Sansa and Arya are captives in King's Land, returning him may by life of my children. Come along, Jon Snow. Time to meet the King of the Wall. Welcome home. 
Fennel is John Bourne. My home is across the sea where my people are waiting for me. Jacaris. 